Ilya Chara, The Importance of the Moment There is nothing static, nothing dead, nothing frozen in the whole universe. Everything is in constant movement. Even so-called still nature, in its profound essence, follows the same law of intrinsic movement. Newness and movement go hand in hand. They are inseparable, creating uniqueness. The moment the hand of the clock is used into infinity, caught in eternity, through it the whole is holy. The moment is always new and in fact always creative, constant newness through an evolutionary impulse. Nowhere in the universe is there repetition or frozen, static, petrified phenomena. If we want to encounter the new, we must be the same way, without returning to the past, without following any patterns. Therefore, the mind is empty of our whole past. It neither runs towards the future, nor follows any method. It is simple. Just watch the moment. Life, as it unfolds, nothing comes between us and its movement. The narrow and limited ego doesn't intrude, creating analysis and imaginary falseness. Such a meeting transcends us into infinity. In the newness of the moment, we become eternal. Spontaneously, nevertheless, we detach in order to meet the next moment. Nothing is accumulated, nothing is anticipated. The purity of innocence accompanies the present moment. With each direct encounter, the being is created. A new world is born where compassion and justice join hands with love, kindness and goodness. But this change of being is not performed through desire, nor by thinking, operating through effort and will. All of these are just the ego trapped in the dimension of time unable to create a real transformation within itself. The instrument which never fails, unique in its efficiency, is an all-encompassing attention. In close connection with the movement of the aliveness, it has no center, no purpose. It does not pursue anything, nor is it concentration. In order to understand the importance of the naked moment, You need to give it all your respect. Forget the moments, seconds, which happened in the past. They are mere ashes of living experiences. All that was is always dead, an obstacle to this direct encounter. In the whole universe there is nothing static, dead or frozen. Everything but absolutely everything is is in eternal movement. Even within the so-called still nature reigns the same intrinsic law of movement. Movement and newness in perfect interconnectedness affirm themselves as uniqueness. In this context the moment represents the hand of the clock used by infinity in order to record the movement of eternity. It is always new as well as creative and transformative in an ascending manner progressively. After these overall considerations, let us see what is the real, practical and logical attitude towards the encounter with the moment, with life, the only approach able to perform a radical transformation in our psychological structure. In order to be able to encounter the newness of the aliveness in its movement, we must come out and greet it the same way. Thus we don't return to the past, to what happened, nor do we project ourselves into the future in pursuit of an imaginary purpose or ideal to fulfill. With a completely empty mind, we simply watch life as it unfolds. Nothing comes between us and the movement of life in the form of images, 
opinions, etc. Such a simple and direct meeting with the moment transcends us spontaneously from the finite world into the infinity. And just as quickly, like lightning, we detach in order to be free again and therefore completely available to encountering the next moment. Nothing is anticipated and nothing is accumulated from the lived, lived moment. The purity, innocence of the mind is our constant companion, as each moment becomes an opportunity to create it being. Through this way of being, as pure consciousness, we ourselves create a new world in which love, beauty, compassion and kindness become a reality positively influencing the whole of humankind. We must underline that the different beliefs, ideals, desires and effort fueled by will do not operate real beneficial transformation, for all these means are initiated and supported by the ego, a limited structure unable to bring radical changes to itself. Please be aware and do not neglect this fact. Practically, a mind conditioned in time-space cannot bring holy changes to itself, but mere changes on the surface. Or, all this superficial cosmetic surgery can only give an even greater importance to the personal self or ego. The merit for discovering this wrong path of straying from our real being is solely, solely yours and it demands a lot of personal work, perseverance and a very high dose of honesty when encountering on our memory reactions. Do not accept anything that the author states unless you have discovered the reality of these facts for yourself, which, through their own nature, cannot be contradicted or denied. The infallible instrument we use unique in its efficiency is an all-encompassing attention which in its encounter with life has no center and no bounds it is neither purpose nor product of accumulation each moment of life demands that we show it the whole respect deserved by the sacred reality by completely eliminating the old past as well as the imaginary and uncertain future.